Welcome back to another segment of Dishing on Daytime. Hi, Chef Emily. Hi. I've missed you. I've missed you as well. What are we cooking today? We're going to make a really nice spring dessert. So this okay. is very easy. It's only a couple ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. So I've got a cake pan right here. I've lined it with parchment. I've buttered the pan and the parchment. We want nothing to Double stick. butter. Double butter. Okay. So now I've got a package of phyllo here. This is very, very thin pastry. You find this in like baklava and spanakopita, things like that. Don't make this at home. If you try, it's quite difficult. You can buy a package. It's lovely. Just make your life easier. Yeah. So we're going to take melted butter again. This is a pretty butter heavy cake. Yes. So we're going to take this and we're going to spread this all over this layer of phyllo. Okay. You can be as serious or as casual as you want. All of this butter is going to get rolled up and we're going to make nice little crenellations with this phyllo. Crenellations? Yeah, little up and, a new word up and down time. ridges I so we like get some that. good caramelization. Oh, mm -hmm. It's going to be so great. So okay. that's perfect. That's enough butter. Yep. So we're going to take this and we're going to roll this up like this. If it rips or tears a little bit, no big. No biggie. We're looking for rustic today. Rustic means rustic chic. nothing's perfect. It's artistic. We're looking for your artistic creativity. All right? Art is in the eye. All right, so we've got this, and I'm going to take this and roll this around my fingers like this so we recreate kind of a rosette. All right? Just like this. Beautiful. Okay? So this is going to go directly in the center here, and we're going to repeat this with six more rosettes so it goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay? While I'm doing that, you're going to put together our custard. Okay. So we've got a mixing bowl there, uh -huh. and we've got three eggs. I need you to crack those three eggs okay. into the bowl. Very good job. Very good job. <gasps> we saved it. This is it's so good. Too. This is real TV, guys. <laughs> Things happen. Also, I did get some of the shell in. Oh no, you're perfect. You're perfect. It's fine. Okay, Don't worry. Okay. Take that out. Yeah. So I'm just great. brushing this out. When you're doing this at home, phyllo sometimes dries out. So you might want to work with just one sheet at a time and cover the rest of the pack up with a piece of parchment and then a damp paper towel. That will help keep this from cracking all over the place. Okay, three eggs. Three eggs, awesome. Beat those up with the whisk, please. Beat it up. And then we're gonna add the vanilla, some sugar, and a little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. Okay. That's perfect. This could be also flavored with any kind of other flavor you like. Cinnamon would be lovely in this. Mm. If you wanted to do a chocolate version, some cocoa in here would be lovely as well. That's perfect. You're doing a good job. Thank you. This is a very simple custard, so we don't have to do any heating. We don't have to do any tempering with the egg yolks. We're just mixing it all together. All right. Easy peasy. So that's perfect. So to that, you're going to add that milk, and you're going to mix that all together. If you are a lactose intolerant person, you really can't get away with not using real butter, but you could get away with not using real milk. Ah. This could be done with almond milk or oat milk or the milk of your choice. All right, so that's perfect. So I've only gotten three rosettes done so far, but in theory, we've done all seven. This is going to go into the oven for about 20 minutes until it's golden brown. The oven's at 350. We just need to bake these little ruffles a little bit before we put the custard on. So I got one in here. Okay. So after about 20 minutes, this is what it looks like, okay? So these are nice and crispy and brown. They're nice and solid. Nothing's gonna move these around. To this, we're just gonna pour this custard all over this. Okay. This is why you wanna use a cake pan. If you use a spring form pan, you might have a little bit of leakage around the edges. If you do only have a spring form pan, I would put some foil on the outside. Do I do the whole thing? The whole thing. Okay. You would put some foil on the outside just to make sure that it doesn't leak out the cracks, okay? That's perfect. So this is covered, not completely covering the ruffles, but good enough. Mm -hmm. So this goes back in the oven about 20 minutes just until the custard is set. We won't, don't want any jiggles, mm -hmm. all right? Solid, firm. Solid. So now, after that's done, we've got this beautiful thing. So this is what this looks like when it's done. It kind of smells like a glazed donut. It does. So we're going to take that sifter and that powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite Yeah, part. do that. Dump a little bit of that in there. Good. Perfect, and then do a little smacking. <gasps> Look at that. Stunning. Look at that gorgeous at spring dessert. Also, this could be an easy brunch meal if yeah. you wanted to. A little bit of maple syrup on top. This is gonna taste like French toast. That's beautiful. All right, fantastic. I've got a plate, I'll cut you a slice. Okay. We'll try it out. Crunchy, delicious, got that cream and the vanilla. Holds its shape pretty nicely. There you go. Here you are. Take a little piece. Ooh, look at that. It's holding up. No little jigglies. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. No jiggles. It's like a crawler. Mm -hmm. A crawler. A crawler, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I like it. I love the sugar on top. Mm -hmm. That's a little fun. cinnamon would be nice too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Different flavors, whatever spice you like. Always a pleasure, Chef Emily. This was pretty easy for yeah. I'd like to see if you can make it at home. Find the recipe over on our website. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. That's right, if you want to make this at home, you can find the full recipe on our website, daytimebuffalo.com.